There is now considerable evidence of Oswald's links with agents from the CIA and the FBI in the months before the assassination. In August 1963, in Dallas, the CIA operative, Antonio Vesiana, met with his case officer, Maurice Bishop. Bishop was the CIA coordinator of the most violent anti-Castro exile group. And in Dallas, he also met with Lee Harvey Oswald. I saw Lee Harvey Oswald in Dallas uh, in a meeting of 10 or 15 minutes with Mr. Uh, Morris Bishop in Dallas in that time. And you feel certain that Oswald was working with or associated with American intelligence? Well, at least he was associated with Morris Bishop. And if well, uh, Morris Bishop was uh, intelligence, he, is, he was working for an intelligence service in the United States. I don't doubt that, that he was working with him. The Select Committee on Assassinations will at this time come to order. The most damaging sealed documents of the House Select Committee on Assassinations accuse high-ranking officials of the Central Intelligence Agency of lying to the people of the United States about Lee Harvey Oswald. House investigators believe this man, David Atlee Phillips, met with Oswald two months before the assassination. Phillips was the CIA's chief of Western Hemisphere operations and was in charge, among other things, of plots against Fidel Castro. According to the secret reports, Antonio Viciana, a leader of anti-Castro Cubans directed by the CIA, saw Oswald talking to a senior CIA agent he knew by the cover name Maurice Bishop. Viciana provided enough information for House investigators to compile this sketch of the agent who met Oswald. Could it have been Phillips? Investigators believe it was. Phillips denied under oath that he knew Oswald, but House investigators did not believe him and wanted him charged with perjury. The government declined to prosecute, leaving investigators furious. The director of the CIA in 1963 was John McCone. He caused a sensation among committee staffers when he admitted there was an agent using the cover name Bishop. But a secret memo reveals he was allowed to reverse his testimony. A CIA lawyer wrote the committee, I should inform you that he had been in error. In summary, Mr. McCone withdraws his statements on this point. The man who fingered Maurice Bishop, Antonio Viciana, was shot in the head soon after testifying, but survived frightened. He will no longer talk about the case. But we caught up with him in Florida. They wounded me in the, in the head. They tried to kill me. You know why? Why would anybody... I don't know. Perhaps the FBI knows. The FBI knows. Did they tell you? No. Actually, actually... David Adley Phillips died of cancer in 1988. Investigators believe Phillips was angry at JFK for botching the Cuban Bay of Pigs operation.